What's up? It's going down. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. However, it is only 22 degrees outside. And I have no idea what the wind chill is, but it's cold. <laughs> but the sun is shining. And in Michigan, when you wake up on a Sunday morning, and it's early. I don't know what time it is right now. Oh, you see the squirrel sneak by over there? And this is my my daughter's Barbie Jeep. I bought that for 10 bucks at a garage sale. Figured how much it was missing the battery. I thought, how much could a battery be? The battery was $70 and a charger was 20 So it was a great deal, but then it wasn't a great deal. <laughs> Anyways, it's Sunday morning. What's up? I hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the new people watching and all my loyal, amazing people on YouTube that watch me. My daughter loves being in the videos. My son thinks it's funny. My oldest son will never be in a video. My wife stays out of them. What kind of world do we live in that I'm sitting here worried about my wife being at the grocery store? I'm sitting here terrified when she left. I'm giving her sanitizer and wipes and telling her, don't touch anything. Oh, I'm worried, even though I'm not worried, because, I mean, if we all get the flu, we'll probably be all right. But, like, I'm still worried. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm sitting here pacing around the house, going in and out the house, getting some fresh air, taking care of the kids, got them breakfast, all that stuff. She went early this morning because they've changed the hours to our local chain grocery store. And so she wanted to get there right when it opened because, you know, stuff's been out of stuff, right? They've been out of things, right? So we need we need things. She had to go to the grocery store. Would I rather us not go out in public and be around people? Yes, but we there's stuff we need. We're a house of five, three kids. We got to feed them, right? But it's crazy we live in this world and I'm sitting here terrified that my wife went to the grocery store that we've gone to for a million times over our 13 plus marriage. It's crazy because we have this local, like, you know, you have Facebook and everything. I don't have a Facebook, but they, there is Facebook. I've never had a Facebook, but they also had this local neighborhood website thing. Right. And so these locally, you know, there's these people that get on there. There's people literally that because everybody hoarded all the toilet paper, there's people asking for help with toilet paper, asking if they can buy toilet paper from each other. There's no toilet paper. <laughs> I just, I think it's crazy. I mean, and then, like, we, ha we, ha we have a little bit. We'll be able to get by, but I have an awesome brother-in-law. My wife's brother, he's amazing. He he stopped by a few weeks ago when this first started. And, and we just had a Costco open in the last year or two. And I've only been to it like once or twice. We don't we don't go there. We don't. It's kind of across town. It's closer to him. And, and he's a Costco person. You know, he's into it. And he brought us a giant thing of toilet paper. And this was a few weeks ago. We have and we had some. And so we haven't even cracked that open. So we'll be all right. But here I'm sitting here worried about my wife at the grocery store, worried about my local community because there's people posting on the local like neighborhood website thing that they're out of toilet paper and would be offered to buy some from other people in the community. That's where we're at. And my wife's at the grocery store right now, and she's giving me texts. There's like no frozen chicken nuggets, and there's no like they're missing so many things. We have a local little mom and pop grocery store. It's called Apple Market. It's amazing. The dad started it years ago, and the brother and the sister, or the kids of this dad, the brother and sister still have it. They waited days for their truck to show up. And what did these owners do? They made sure that all the employees could at least reserve some, some teepee before they put any on the shelves. They made sure that all of their employees were able to reserve at least a small 
you know, stash of TP before they put any of it on the shelves, the tissue paper. I think that's pretty solid. Anyways, I'm sitting here worried about my wife at the grocery store because I don't want her to touch anything and get us all sick. And, and it's crazy people are having to ask each other in the community if they can buy some teepee from them because they're out and the stores don't have any. And some people can't just get out and just get some. But at least there's this little small store here. It's still a mom and pop. They're rare. It's a grocery store. I love going there. I fre frequent it. It's two blocks away. Well, I don't know. It's ten blocks away. <laughs> but anyway, be safe. Love each other. Appreciate each other. Take care of them kids.